Daniel Bryan gets his shot at the television championship against Mr. Reigns, Steve Niles. And in the main event, we see Army Strong, Kevin Stryker, get a shot at the Middle Atlantic Championship against TR Superstar. We'll be right back. Congratulations on your team winning the match. You have dethroned MT Hawks for the time being. So I figured what better thing to do now than pin you down and ask you specifically, what do you have planned for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic now? What do I have planned for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic? Mid I'm so excited I can't even talk. Because I'm the new commissioner. But what do I have planned? What do I have planned? Yeah, what do I have planned? Looking for a great convenience store, then look no further than Eddie's Dip Food Store, located on Andy Grove Parkway right here in Mount Airy. It's your hometown store, offering discounts, cigarettes, beer, lottery tickets, prepaid phone cards, Western Union, so much more. And Eddie's Zip Food Store is an exclusive AIWF Advanced Ticket Center. Call 789-1748. Ready for dinner but don't feel like cooking? We'll try the Pie Factory located down on South Street in Mount Airy. The Pie Factory home of the 18-inch pizza, large dining room for all your family's needs, and mom and dad, we even have a game room for the kids. Located at 1263 North South Street in Mount Airy, call 786-8886. Atlantic Wrestling fans, check out King's Hot Dog, located down at Rural Hall, North Carolina, at Village Square Plaza, right off of Highway 52, exit 118, where you can find anything from corn dogs, BLTs, chuck wagon, barbecue, and the world famous King Dog. That's right, 14 inches, 2 pounds of meat, and with drive through service available, if you're in a hurry, stop on by today, Village Square Plaza, Rural Hall. Some good hot dog fans.
Welcome everyone to AIWF Mid-Atlantic TV. I'm glad you stuck around. This is the voice of tradition, Jonathan Stiles, and we got a barn burner for you this week. Kid Courageous Jacob Ryan gets a shot at the television championship against Mr. Rating Steve Niles. Steve Niles wasting no time applying that side headlock. And for those of you who have not seen the episode, Steve Niles winning the Cruiserweight Championship and under suspect circumstances from Port Montgomery. Speaking of a cruiserweight, Jacob Ryan really showing something out there, putting that knee in the back and going to work on to Mr. Ratings himself now. Third one looks like it may have done the trick. These fans are extremely excited. Elbow drop, this could be it. No, no title change there. Listen to those fans, ladies and gentlemen. They're absolutely excited to cheer on that young man. For those of you who don't know, Jacob started his career here as a referee in the IWF Mid-Atlantic, worked very hard and very diligent, and now here he is getting a shot at the television championship. Another shot by the champion now. Irish working the challenger into the corner, but Courageous with the boot moves him around, working that midsection, there you go. Showing just, oh! Let's hear another one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, oh no. I think we just seen Casper. That is so pale white. Oh! And that's so painful. Oh! Steve Niles is not giving him any, any opportunity there. Kid Courageous now getting ready to plant those hands in. And the kid, let's get that count up today. Oh! What a flapjack! by the champion. Just laying out Kid Courageous. Steve now is looking dazed though. I don't think he's gonna get the opportunity for the pin right here. Looks like he might be trying to set up Jacob Ryan for that ratings drop where spoke too soon. I was ripped off the ropes and holy cow, what a power slam. Go for the pin, grip on the leg. Two count only though. I'll tell you what, Steve Niles has really changed up his style from being a hardcore wrestler that he has been. Okay. And now rear chain lock applied as Steve Niles slows the pace down here. And definitely looking to check him. Darren definitely in there. And oh, what a leg drop by Steve Niles. Steve Niles coming off the ropes and just pushes the elbow into the shirt. And this could be it. Two, no, two count only. Steve Niles really showing something here. I do got to give respect to that. I mean, he's adapted from a hardcore style to what I consider an all-around wrestler. Wasting too much time, though, in my opinion, against Jacob Ryan here. Showing just absolute disrespect. And Jacob Ryan getting that kick to the sternum. And another one lays out the champion. Cover that man, sir. One, two, no. Two count only, though. I really thought that Jacob Ryan was going to have him there. Jacob Ryan now working on the breadbasket area. Just applying those forearms now. Looks like he's going to try to put Steve Niles down for the count there, but Niles already working himself back to the vertical base and what a backdrop by the champion. Courageous looking very, da very dazed now. Niles can't believe he's not going for the pin there. I think he's going to try to add insult to injury. He's going for the race dropper. No, I just rip off the ropes and picks him up and oh, down to the mat. Poor Jacob goes again. Oh, two. No. Two. Two count only. Man, Kid Courageous is showing some tenacity out there. 
Hey, Steve Niles has that chin lock applied. Referee in there looking to see. Referee saying, checking. Courageous saying, what? I can't believe it. Wait a minute, what's going on here? I just, I, looks like, looks like Kid Courageous tapped out. And Foxy Roxy coming out of nowhere, laying the boots to Steve Niles. Looking out for the youngster, Kid Jacob Ryan. You're a winner as a result of a submission and still television champion, Mr. Ratings, Steve Niles. Steve Niles getting the jeers here. And poor, poor Jacob Ryan, if it was not for Foxy Roxy, I don't know. I don't know if Jacob Ryan would have not gotten injured out there. Hopefully Darren trying to do his job. I tell you what, fans, I think this feud is far from over. We'll be right back after this message. convenience store then look no further than Eddie's Zip Food Store located on Ingram Parkway right here in Mount Airy. It's your hometown store offering discounts, cigarettes, beer, lottery tickets, prepaid phone cards, Western Union, so much more. And Eddie's Zip Food Store is an exclusive AIWF Advanced Ticket Center. Call 789-1748. Ready for dinner but don't feel like cooking? We'll try the Pie Factory located down on South Street in Mount Airy. The Pie Factory home of the 18-inch pizza, large dining room for all your family's needs, and mom and dad, we even have a game room for the kids. Located at 1263 North South Street in Mount Airy, call 786-8886. Atlantic Wrestling fans, check out King's Hot Dog, located down at Rural Hall, North Carolina, at Village Square Plaza, right off of Highway 52, exit 118, where you can find anything from corn dogs, BLTs, chuck wagon, barbecue, and the world famous King Dog. That's right, 14 inches, 2 pounds of meat, and with drive through service available, if you're in a hurry, stop on by today, Village Square Plaza, Rural Hall. Some good hot dog fans.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. An unfortunate set of circumstances. Our new AIWF commissioner accidentally pointing to what it may have been the wrong match. And now Foxy Roxy has a handicap match against one half of the Star City Rollers and their valet, Jenny Janetti. And I gotta say, folks, I think the deck may be stacked against her here. I'm seeing grave concern for Foxy, but, but the fans are behind Foxy Roxy. Foxy Roxy measuring Jody Osborne up. She's going to be in for the fight of her life. Call her and elbow tie up now. And into the corner they go. Are we going to see a clean break by Osborne? Surprisingly, yes. It's a clean break. Clean break. Clean, clean break. Something new out of the uh, moves of Jody Osborne, a clean break. It looks like Foxy Roxy measuring. She's got to have to do some real work. Another collar and elbow tie up now. And they work Foxy Roxy back into the corner again. And we're going to see the clean break this time. Of course not. And Jody Osborne now just laying in and clean break my eye, but no one home though. Look at the speed of Foxy Roxy laying it in there. Putting it on thick against what happened to Star City Rollers. Irish whip into the corner. Foxy Roxy measuring him. Big splash. Osborne goes down. And Foxy Roxy has him. Has her right where he wants him. Shoulder thrust. Working that midsection. Foxy Roxy now. Get ready to push him. Into the corner. Irish whipped up. Reversal though. By what half of the search. Oh my god. That looks that looks dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I saw the ring move about three inches and look at the way Osborne's choking out Roxy now. What is that about? Very close to a disqualification by one half of the Star City Rollers. Smiley in there doing his job, and poor Foxy Roxy getting choked out again. Come on. Break him before that four count. Look at that. Referee Smiley now out of possession, allowing Jenny Janetti to blatantly choke Foxy Roxy. Tag brings in. Jenny Janetti now, if, and a well-worn Foxy Roxy may be ripe in the pickings. Jenny Janetti going to work on that left arm and now just applying those forms to the back and basically putting the boots of Foxy Roxy. Just sitting on the back and doing damage to the spinal region. Picking Foxy Roxy back up to the vertical base now as Jenny Janetti just just slaps Foxy Roxy. A big sign of disrespect though. Puts, puts him in the corner. Just putting those out. Fist right into the bread basket now. And tossing Foxy Roxy down by the hair. What a shame. Tag breaks in. Jody Osborne and now double team move. Nothing to stop him here. And Irish whip now applied. Point. Coming off the ropes. Elbow straight to the larynx. Going for the pin. Two count only though. Osborne arguing a slow count by referee Smiley. I tend to disagree. And now Osborne applying that knee to the back. Will Roxy submit? I don't know. I couldn't blame her at this point, though. She's had her work cut out for her since the beginning of this match, but she's so great straight. Working her way out again. And, oh, another hair pull. Oh! What a dastardly tactic by Jody Osborne and a leg drop. 
very, very arrogant cover. No, though. Janelle is showing frustration out there. Smiley having to argue with the team of Jerry Janetti and Jody Osborne, and who can blame them? He's doing a, doing a biased, or excuse me, down in the middle job out there. The only thing that's biased about this is the way that the Star City Rollers think that they can cheat, like you're seeing here right now, ladies and gentlemen. Poor Foxy Rocks are getting choked out. Osborne measures Foxy Roxy. Being won for the close fist, but a reversal to the Irish whip. And wow, what a great forearm by Roxy. She may have reversed the momentum. She may have things back in her favor. Can't she get back up to the vertical base? Can't she get in there? She's trying, but Janetti's already in there and measuring it with a clothesline. Going for that pin. Two count only though again. Where is Foxy Roxy finding it, ladies and gentlemen? Gets up again and continues to apply footwork to poor Foxy Roxy. Foxy Roxy being pulled back up to a vertical base by a hair pulled out. And an out. Big forearm being laid into the chin. Foxy Roxy. Jenny Janetti having her way with Foxy Roxy now. Going back to work on the abdominal region. Whipping Foxy into the corner. I was hoping to see Foxy Roxy reverse it. Fortunately not. Splash now. And back comes in Jody Osborne. Jody Osborne making sure that Roxy cannot get back up to that vertical base. And tosses. Oh my God. Smiley, you gotta stop this, man. I mean, poor Foxy Roxy was thrown out with such force. I think she may have seen damage to her hip. May have seen damage to her legs. Going out on that cold concrete now. Jenny Janetti just measuring and picking Roxy. And if fans, you can't see it, but I can from my vantage point. Jody Osborne has decided to apply the championship to a turnbuckle. And without her partner, James Allen here, the Silver Fox. I, oh, no! Right to the wood. Come on, Smiley, you got to stop this. This is madness. Osborne throwing Roxy in. Uh, Smiley really needs to stop this for medical reasons, if nothing else now. And look at that cover. Of course you're not going to get a three count that way. And thank goodness he didn't. Jody Osborne picking. Just measuring. Oh. Foxy Roxy getting slammed down hard to the canvas. Osborne going again for the cover. Oh, wow! Two count only, though. I tell you what, I really thought that was going to be three after the damage we seen to the outside with the spine. Going to that concrete. And the power move by Jody Osborne. Oh, no. This could be bad. This could be real bad. Oh, getting a taste of his own medicine. Jody Osborne does. Roxy, Roxy, great drop kick. Go for the. Taking that leg out. Taking the leg out now, going for the pin now. Great finds the leg. Two, one count only. But I tell you what, Jody Osborne's definitely hurting. He put that tag team championship up there and karma paid him back, ladies and gentlemen. Jody Osborne laying down. Foxy Roxy claiming she's going to fly. Getting up to that second rope. Just measure him and a great leg drop. Two and a half of the Star City Rollers. Cover that man. One, two.
getting work back to the vertical base, but big fist applied by Foxy Roxy. Foxy Roxy ready. It looks like she wants to go up again. Fans hearing it, yeah. Let's see her go up all the way to that top rope now. Can't she? Right in her head and no one home though. Taking too much time and Jody Osborne gets out of the way. What a real shame here. Osborne slowly inching his way over. Going for the pin. Two, no! I think just out of pure instinct, Foxy Roxy kicked up now. Wait a minute, here's Jacob. Jacob turning this into a tag match. But it could be Kid Courageous saying, saying tag me, Osborne, suplexing Roxy though. Boy, the evil, I guess, came to his senses, finally changing this to a tag match. Going for the pin now. Two. Two count. No, we know. Look at the punch. It's just being applied. Get in there, Smiley. Two count only though. Now, can Roxy get over? Can she inch over? Can she tag that fresh man? Briggs being cut in half now by the Star City Roller, Jody Osborne and Jenny Janetti. I don't even know if Foxy Roxy knows that Jacob Ryan has made his way out. Big punch applied. Roxy getting another one in there. Jenny Janetti. Roll breaker. Rolls over, can she tag Jacob Ryan? Can she get over? Ryan's there, he's ready, he's fresh for the tag. Can he go it? Yes he does! Kid Courageous coming in, so is Jody Osborne. Wow! Courageous! Just kicking him in the posterior, kicking him in the, kicking him in the ribs, applying the floor, I'm doing whatever he can. Really pushing him out there. Two count. Three. Referee working his way up to three. Osborne fight, trying to fight back. Kid courageous though. Osborne on the ring apron now. Kid courageous trying to communicate to partner. Wait a minute. Could Osborne be fighting back? And oh no. The young inexperience of Jacob Ryan allowing Jody Osborne to use the ropes as a weapon. But Boxy Roxy fighting Janetti over there in the corner. Osborne now. Wow, Janetti getting slammed. Kid Courageous trying to fight Jody Osborne. Wait a minute. Up and. Oh no! Right across the throat. But Foxy Roxy taking Jody Osborne to the outside. Tumbling onto that concrete. Wait a minute. Here's the pin now. The winners of the match, the team of Jacob Ryan and Foxy Roxy. convenience store then look no further than Eddie's Dip Food Store located on Ingram Parkway right here in Mount Airy. It's your hometown store offering discounts, cigarettes, beer, lottery tickets, prepaid phone cards, Western Union, and so much more. And Eddie's Dip Food Store is an exclusive AIWF Advanced Ticket Center. Call 789-1748. Ready for dinner but don't feel like cooking? We'll try the Pie Factory located down on South Street in Mount Airy. The Pie Factory home of the 18-inch pizza, large dining room for all your family's needs, and mom and dad, we even have a game room for the kids. Located at 1263 North South Street in Mount Airy, call 786-8886. Atlantic 
wrestling fans, check out King's Hot Dog, located down at Rural Hall, North Carolina, at Village Square Plaza, right off of Highway 52, exit 118, where you can find anything from corn dogs, BLTs, chuck wagon, barbecue, and the world famous King Dog. That's right, 14 inches, 2 pounds of meat, and with drive through service available, if you're in a hurry, stop on by today, Village Square Plaza, Rural Hall. Some good hot dog fans. Please welcome my guest at this time, the AIWF Mid Atlantic Champion, TR Superstar. Delta Styles, you hold the most important thing in the AIWF Mid-Atlantic and you stand there and be just as ugly as you possibly can because I know it can't go the other way. Now, I was going to come over here and talk about this trailer trash here in Sparta, North Carolina. Talking about white trash. It's every kind of trash known to man up in here. And TR Superstar got to come out here and wrestle in front of this. I got to take my robe off and bring my gold out here in front of this. Unbelievable. What in the world? You sit up there and you shut up. And you better save your breath, big man. You got to blow your date up here after a while. Now, especially this bunch right up here in this corner. When I get up here, you too, Blue Tongue. When I get up in this ring, you show respect and be quiet. I don't want to hear a peep out of nobody because I got to concentrate on beating this city up. Like I got to say, you shut up. You too. Your suspenders is ground too tight there, Peppo. Now, Jonathan Styles, you properly introduced. The IWF Mid Atlantic Champion. And again, shut up over there! Keep your mouth shut up by seeing that blue tongue. Ladies and gentlemen, the AIWF Mid Atlantic Champion, TR Superstar. We'll be putting the title. What's this for? And it looks like another smirk is getting ready to get his butt whipped by the speak song. Wait a minute, there's no referee. Re Let's get a referee out here. Finally get this thing going. Smiley's not gonna have time to check anybody, much less tell me to ring the bell. <laughs> TR Superstar on the outside, Kevin Stryker. Furious, and who can blame him after getting cheated by the champion? This is a this is for the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Championship. Kevin Stryker laying those chops in Irish reversal and Superstar going for the close line, but nobody there. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the shocking off. Just throwing those blows in. Whipping, whipping T out of the corner. They have broken a rib there. Great knee left by the challenger. Goes for the pen. This could be it, new champion. Two. No. Wow. Kevin Stryker coming out like a house of fire. And who can blame him? You go back and you look at AIWF Mid-Atlantic Television. 
and Kevin Stryker almost beat TR Superstar, but for suspect circumstances, TR Superstar is still the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Champion. And now Kevin Stryker slowing the pace of the match. Ah, oh, jawbreaker by the champion, though. That'll change anybody's tune. I tell you what, TR Superstar desperately needed that. Desperately needed that. Taking Kevin Stryker back up. It looks like... What a suplex by TR Superstar. I mean, I gotta give credit where credit is due. TR Superstar, the master of the suplex. Very lazy, arrogant cover by the champion, but I would not expect anything more from someone by the likes of TR Superstar. TR Superstar lay those chops in now and puts Kevin Stryker down. See what happens when you mess with the champion. TR Superstar just measuring Stryker now. Big knee drop straight to the head of Kevin Stryker. Gets the chin lock applied now. Cutting off the oxygen to that carotid artery. Pulling those shoulder blades back. Adding pressure to that region. TR Superstar making sure that Kevin Stryker has no way to fight out of it. Trying to get something from the fans though. Can he do it? High right though by TR Superstar. Smiley getting in there to do the job that he's supposed to be doing. Thank goodness. Swinging his neck breaker now. Doing real damage to the neck of Kevin Stryker. Going for the pin. Great finds the leg. Two count only though. Thank goodness. I'd hate to see this one end so, so soon. But I tell you what, it looks like Kevin Stryker's gasping for oxygen now at this point. And he's just laying him in there and measuring. Wait a minute, no! Stryker reverses. Gets another big one in. A trio of punches reverses the momentum in Kevin Stryker's favor. Irish whip reversal, though, by the champion. Next miss of the close line. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the shock and awe. Down goes TR. Wait a minute. What's Kid Light? What's Kid Lightning doing out here? Well, you knew it wasn't going to last long. Kid Lightning on the payroll of TR Superstar. You should have tagged last time, soldier. Leave me hanging on the ring. This is what you get. Kid Lightning showing aggression and frustration after what happened. I'll tell you what, we're going to want to see what happens. I hope Robbie Evil puts that one on paper. I'd love to see it. Kevin Stryker taking on Kid Lightning. It's only a matter of time down the road. That's unfortunately, a heartbreaker for Kevin Stryker. Hopefully, he'll get another championship match down the line. This is the voice of tradition, Jonathan Stiles, the voice of the AIWF, saying, we'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Accommodations for talent provided by Quality in 2136 Rockford Street in Mount Airy, North Carolina, phone number 336-789-2000 or qualityin.com.